we're going to continue with the figure of speech that we have in literature and we're moving to antithesis antithesis now for us to understand antithesis we must have a good knowledge of parallelism now when we talk about parallelism we are talking about statements that are similarity in structure statements that are similarity in structure now for instance we always use this example especially when we are giving examples of a climax i came i saw and i conquered now, based on this, this also can be said to be a parallel statement. I came is having subject and a verb. I saw subject and a verb. I conquered subject and a verb. It has similar structure. That is parallelism. Now, in a case now when we now have a parallel structure, that is opposite that one is the opposite of the other we have antithesis so in antithesis is a striking opposition or contrast of words made in the same sentence in order to secure emphasis it is used for the four purpose of emphasis now we have examples here to hear is human to forgive divine now you will see what we the parallel statement there in the same sentence to air to forgive to air is a to infinitive phrase to air and to forgive is also a to infinitive phrase that means grammatically they have the same structure then we have to air after that is, which is the predicate, the verb. Though we do not have is in to forgive divine, it is a case of ellipsis, which is also uh, a, 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 an element in style to actually avoid repetition. So to actually write the whole thing, we can say to air is human, to forgive is divine. So it is still assumed by Grammarian that to forgive is is present there what we only have is a presupposition that the is in to air is still applicable in to forgive so we can say we have the to infinitive phrase the predicate is and is for the other one then we have human and divine now now that serves as the object of the two clauses so we see that it has the same structure the two clauses that make up the sentences now one is positive the other is negative or one is the opposite of the other that is what makes it antithetical to air negative to forgive positive so we have that as a case of antithesis so give every man thy ear but feel thy voice give every man thy ear but feel thy voice so we have the case of antithesis also used here because ellipsis also is adopted is give every man thy ear but give every man feel men die boss oh let me give every man die here yeah, but give few men die voice the same structure one is give every one the other is give few antithetical opposition contrast that is the case of antithesis then we also have oxymoron 
And when we talk about oxymoron, we are talking about a figure of speech in which there are two contradictory or incongruous words for sharp emphasis or effect. That means two contradictory words are placed side by side. It's as simple as that for oxymoron. Whenever you see two words together and one is the opposite or one contradicts the other or one is positive, the other is negative, you talk about oxymoron. Now, let's see examples that we have here. Darkness, visible, or visible, darkness. Visible, positive. Darkness, negative. Make haste, slowly. Haste, slowly. Haste, positive. If my candidate has positive, slowly. Can count it as for opposite. Loving, it. That is positive, negative. Brought side by side, oxymoron is achieved. Then we have littletis. Littles. Now, when we talk about littles, it is the opposite of hyperbole. Hyperbole, we mentioned, is a case of exaggeration for emphasis. It's a case of exaggeration for emphasis. So when we talk about littles, we are talking about the opposite. And that is understatement. It is a case of understatement. And how do you achieve understatement? You achieve understatement by conveying the idea that is affirmative in the negative form. Now, that means an affirmative statement, a statement that is true, is the baseline, the literal sense. Now, we are now conveying it going above the affirmative to exaggerating. We are doing, we are using hyperbole. Coming down, we are using little things through the use of negation. Now, we can see in the examples that we have here, he is no dollar. He is no dollar. Now, when we look at it, the affirmative sense of that statement is, is that he is brilliant. That is the base statement. He is brilliant. Now, when we go above the baseline, we have gone to the level of exaggeration. For instance, if you now say that he has the knowledge of Aristotle and Sophocles combined. We are exaggerating to say he's very brilliant or very intelligent. Now, we are now going below the baseline by using double negating negatives. We are negating negatives. That is we are not even giving him emphasis. We are going below his brilliant. He is no dollar. That is the case of little things. For instance, I am not a little. I am not a little means I am great. We can go above I am great and we can come to the level of negating negative. He is not a bad sort. That is, is a good guy. That these are cases of little things. Then we also have interrogation, and is a, a rhetorical mode of affirming or denying something more strongly than could be done in ordinary language. You are affirming or denying something in strong language. Who is here so base that will be a bondman? Who is here so rude that will not be a Roman? Who is here so vile that will not love his country? Now, when we use this rhetorical mood, rhetorical questions, in actually affirming an idea, we are making use of interrogation. And when we have exclamation, it is used for strong expression of feelings. Exclamation is used for strong expression of feelings. For instance, who lifts me as a wave, a leaf? 
a cloud. I fall upon the thorns of life. I bleed. Now, when we look at I bleed here, yeah, there is the use of exclamation. It is used to express strong expression of feeling. It is also a case of uh, a trope in literature. This is uh, Valdemar's College of Advanced and Preliminary Studies. We do excellent A-level uh, programs uh, for guaranteed admission into 200 level. We are in the success business and we transform my